as is written in Texas Administrative Code Section 15.54D, Part 1, for facilities with full control of access, such as interstate highways or freeways developed by commission designation pursuant to Transportation Code Chapter 203, access to the main travel lanes is fully controlled through designation, purchase of access rights, or provision of frontage roads. All over the state of Texas, major highways are often accompanied by these roads running along their full length where possible to provide direct access to properties adjacent to it that are of equal or greater value than the cost of creating the frontage road itself. These are seen in both urban and rural areas and work as a way of separating local traffic from vehicles undergoing longer distance journeys between cities or other parts of large urban areas. Frontage roads will be a crucial piece of the fabric of the region, bringing development and growth to the desolate land, enabling farmers the ability to ship their product to market, and becoming the future thoroughfares of retail, industrial, and office corridors. Local officials followed Section 15.54 as closely as they could, knowing that this was in fact the best way to plan a new settlement. prepare this land for development, we are instructed to upgrade one of the existing diamond interchanges for heavier traffic, according to the revelations of Technical Report 0-6894-1, the design and operation of U-turns at diamond interchanges in Texas. Scripture revealed to TxDOT by Texas A&M, dated September 2017. In providing motorists the opportunity to cross a freeway without passing through the signalized portion of the interchange, overall interchange delay and trip times are reduced for corridor users locally circulating within the frontage road portions of the freeway corridor, and for motorists on one side of the freeway who wish to continue their trip in the opposing direction. This new interchange will come in handy to us later as a special client has funded this upgrade in anticipation of locating here and bringing with them many good paying jobs. are extended further to meet up with the existing partial cloverleaf interchange, paying careful attention to the way that local and interstate traffic weave together to create the smoothest junction possible. Point got its start as a small cattle ranching and railroad town in the late 19th century, named for its similarities in topography and appearance to another small town in Montana in which the founding families were born. The original plat of the city was laid out in a square grid pattern of 260 feet by 260 feet, or 1 20th of a mile, mirroring the railroad tracks.
Later developments were more organic in design, loosely following the curvature of the river near which the city sits. Being a stop along a major trucking route, Reed Point was the ideal location for a travel center for commercial drivers and civilians to fuel up and rest for the night. The modern day economy of the town relies on these travelers to generate tax revenue to fund infrastructure, education, and essential emergency services. Most of Central Reed Point's homes are historic in a classic American prairie style, having been built in the first 50 or so years since the city's founding. Like many Texas Plains cities, Reed Point is extremely windy and it has adopted this renewable energy source to power itself in the modern age. Main Street is lined with small shops with angled parking in front. The local businesses here have been in families for generations. Although the town doesn't have public transportation, one also does not necessarily need their car to live here, as the town is small enough to get to where you need to go on foot or with a bike, at least for now. The quintessential Texas experience, Whataburger, is the town square of modern Reed Point, where residents gather to enjoy a hot meal and catch up on the latest gossip. <laughs> 